Patrick Allen was an absolute force to be reckoned with in the 2000s. He was simply dominant and won 13 titles during this period, which along with Parker Bone III, was the most amount of titles for a left-hander during the 2000s. His best season came in 2005, when he won four titles, including the World Championship. But he also won three titles in 2007 and 2009. He was just so fun to watch on TV and always brought great energy to the telecast. Unfortunately, once 2010 came around, his career just seemed to fizzle out rapidly and he would not win another title and only made a handful more telecasts. But there's no denying how dominant he was in his prime and he had an excellent record on TV. Of course, like all bowlers, however, there were times when things didn't go so well, which is why in this video, I'm going to look at what I think are his worst ever moments on TV. I've picked out four moments for us to look at today. So let's start with number four, the 2002 Earl Anthony Memorial Classic. So it's not real difficult for him to let go of it. Ball drifting high. Jim looked like it was a little soft with his speed. Give myself a better slide on the tackier approaches. We say feet don't fail me. Now, his first two steps, really what's crucial for Patrick Allen, right? This was in the very early days of Allen's career when he had just one title. He played Patrick Healy Jr. in the semi-final and had a pretty good lead throughout the match. He went three in a row, seven spare, a double, but then had a gutter ball. Unfortunately, the gutter ball seemed to be cut out of the telecast along with the previous couple of frames, but he did make the spare. He ended up with 225, but it meant Healy just needed a mark in the 10th. Clearly, the gutter ball cost him the match, and without that, he would have likely advanced. Number three, the 2004 Masters. He wanted to get going with physical fitness this year. Saw the big numbers. He's been hot. However, the big four stands. Four, seven, six, ten for Patrick Allen. Exemption as well for one of these two bowlers. And a first ever major title will go to the winner. Seven. Four, seven. Boy, he didn't like that at all upon release. Was hoping for a Brooklyn strike crossing over the head pin, but it was very strange to see a five pin standing from a PBA Tour player. The 2004 ABC Masters was held outdoors at Miller Park and Allen got by his first match very comfortably, but it was a much closer one in match two, again playing against Patrick Healy Jr. He managed to step up and strike from the seventh frame to book his place in the title match against Danny Wiseman. Unfortunately, this match went very differently for Allen and he really struggled right from the start. As it turned out though, it didn't really matter what he did because Wiseman was just lights out getting the front eight before leaving back-to-back 10 -back pins. It looked like Allen was going to run the ladder, but Danny Wiseman would be the victor, winning his first and only major title. Number two, the 2007 Dick Webber Open. And the break, not the move he wanted or the result, Chris, with a 4-7. Absolutely, they do a great job here in LA. Whoa, watch out. I didn't like that much. Almost had a split to deal with. Just the single pin conversion now. No chance. Big shot. Eighth frame. Seven pin again. We had a very entertaining title match in this event with Allen facing Jason Couch, and there was some great trash talking early on. for number seven. You gotta hit twice. <laughs> twice. You talk about walking into somebody's wheelhouse. This is Jason's wheelhouse, and he hasn't got to show it in a couple of years out here because we haven't had a lot of oil in the front of the lane. His ball's picked up too early. This week, there's oil down lane. It's all about power, and he's got more than anybody else. Patrick Allen makes the ball change with his equipment, 
And he gets some help too. How about six falling there on a late tap? It might be his house, but I'm knocking. What <laughs> here? Throughout this event, and today. I'm knocking, baby. I'm knocking. I'm knocking. I'm knocking. He just called JC out. I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. Keep knocking, hard. Keep knocking. <laughs> All the timing. All the symmetry. But a couple of errant shots from Allen saw him go behind and he then lost carry towards the end of the match. This allowed Couch to strike out to win the title. This one would have been a pretty hard loss for Allen and given all the verbal back and forth between the two, he really would have wanted this win. And number one, the 2005 US Open. He's up 10. 20 with a strike. Goes for the turkey. Are you kidding me? Deserve it. 50% split conversions so far this week. Does he have it? Wow. No whiffs on a pair. Oh, seven pin. Finally, we have the 2005 US Open, which was an excellent opportunity for Allen to win his first major but his opponent chris barnes was also looking for his first major and seemed absolutely determined to get it done after much heartbreak at the majors it was a very close one and alan did get a good break in the tent to force barnes to strike and get nine spare to win alan certainly put in a valiant performance and you could say he got a little bit unlucky here because barnes's strike is what i would class as a bit of a 50 50 shot as it did hit light and when you look at the pin action, it could have easily left a pin standing. Plus, his next shot was inside, and he was a tad fortunate to just leave a four pin. The only consolation for Allen was that he did win his first major in the same year at the World Championship. And there we have it. Those were what I thought were Patrick Allen's worst ever moments on TV. As you have probably seen by now, I've done quite a few of these worst and indeed best moment videos so far i'm working my way through as many players as i can so if you have any suggestions for any players i haven't done so far then feel free to let me know in the comment section below and as always thank you so much for watching and if you have enjoyed what you've seen i would really appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button below that will be all from me for today and as always thank you bowling fans and see you all next time